I wanted to talk about Supergirl. I've been watching that on Netflix. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of videos for this channel because I've been trying to get out of my slump if you've seen the last few videos. Um, due to <sighs> getting rid of the businesses that I got um, in, in quite a bad way. So, um, as I'm getting myself out of this with a lot of help and slowly rebuilding myself, I've been doing a lot of binging on Netflix. It's not my account, it's someone else's account. A uh, guy I was dating, um, I'm going to use until he changes his password. So, um, I've watched a lot of the superhero um, mo uh, TV shows or Netflix shows. The Flash was kind of cheesy. I liked the, loved the Punisher. Uh, uh, I forget all the other ones, but all the Marvel ones and uh, Supergirl and Flash are DC. Anyways, I use it as uh, background noise, but sometimes I kind of it kind of distracts me from facing life. Now I'm at a point where okay, I'm sick of watching like when you kind of binge on something and you get sick of it and then you stop but I'm, I keep going because I, I think I'm gonna lose the uh, Netflix eventually um, so I'm just writing it out I'm not gonna pay for Netflix um, it's just like paying for dope but uh, the it Someone suggested that I should watch it because it was good. It triggers me so much. I mean, there's parts where I cry because I'm super emotional, but the whole thing is the the whole concept of this show, which is probably Supergirl in, a, in essence. I guess I don't know. I haven't. I don't know anything about Supergirl. You know, I I know Superman, and even that it's. It is what it is, but it the whole concept, the whole show is very disturbing to me. Um, I don't know if it's because it's modern that it's mo that it's normalizing or taking a portrait of of you know narcissist narcissism and extreme borderline personality. Uh, as normal, you know, it's either taking a picture of it or it's just normalizing it that, oh, okay, you know, everyone wants to be a hero, it's all about being a hero, it's me, 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 and that's what each character is like, and you see the, the, um, tumultuous relationships happening, and all the red flags that happen, and it's like, it's it's very triggering to me. I'm still watching it, but I would never watch it again. Well, a lot of these shows I don't watch again. To go back to something I missed, if I was doing something, I went to the bathroom and it was still playing, unless it was something very pertinent, which is like 1% of the time, I just keep going because it's it's just... The reason I'm using it is just to kind of skim through it. I don't, it's not something that's worth my attention, but I get glimpses of it when I am paying attention to it as it's playing. And uh, I, get, I get triggered a lot, you know. And even, um, what was the one that was set in Harlem and there's only two seasons that got canceled? Uh, and the guy's bulletproof and it's part of Marvel. I mean, it kind of made him, I, for, oh, I forgot what it was. You can remind me in the comments. 
it drug on a little bit. I, I might watch it again, actually. The only thing about that was just, it just kind of uh, played a little shaft in there. So I made that hero of Bronx, or is it Harlem? You know, that he was having sex with everyone, just like Shaft, you know, it was a, over-sexualizing him. Um, but aside from that, it, was, it wasn't it was as, you know, me, me, me being a hero or whatever. It was, there was some humility to it. Whereas with the Supergirl, it was like, you know, first of all, she looks like a Becky uh, cheerleader, you know. Of course, yeah, she was abandoned and all this stuff. So obviously she has some sort of personality disorder due to that. But what about everyone else? You know, everyone's dysfunctional in this, in this goddamn sh show. And <clears throat> is it showing it as that's the way it is? And like, you don't even know if it's part of America or not, but they kind of talk about it in the third season. Yeah, I'm on the third season. More of America. So it's like, okay, so we're talking about over, <clears throat> over narcissistic society, everyone wanting to be a hero, everyone wanting to win, everyone wanting to fight. Um, and it's very triggering to me. Uh, um, I'd probably be less triggered if I watch World Star Hip Hop. And get see someone get the shit kicked out of them. It's a vast comparison, but I'm thinking that now. It's just I don't really have a comment aside from that. I don't have a solution. I don't know how Supergirl was. You know, the only other female superhero. I mean. Um, Wonder Woman I saw in the theaters wasn't like that to an extreme, you know? There was humility involved in the character. <sighs> so, and then it took a lot of, you know, modern day problems. I mean, the one girl, her sister, not biological, but who she lived with, grew up with, is a lesbian and trying to marry and all that stuff, it's... I'm assuming it is a snapshot of, you know, the way society is now. So maybe that's why I'm triggered because... It's true, and there's no balance <laughs> in the show. It's all one way or the other. And so everyone has an ego, everyone wants to be a superhero. Everyone's entitled. And everyone's dramatic. There's nothing to balance it, so I guess that you're constantly being triggered, or I am. Or angered, or... I don't know. So I thought I would a little bit of my commentary on that. I'm still gonna watch it. Um, just trying to get more into a space where I can just shoot videos and upload them. But again, this channel is not about uh, editing or whatever. I'm slowly getting myself out of my slump. I've been working the past um, week or so on my Instagram. I've been working on my blog. This is what I'm trying to pick up and make my, you know, my income online as in what, in all that's fitness. And I have a lot of roadblocks mentally. First of all, it's a lot of procrastination, starting to get stuff done, and then being too perfectionistic about it. And then I'm still having to deal with stuff from the businesses I'm trying to get over and it gives in it doesn't give me as many anxiety attacks, there's less of it, but I'm not going to the gym tomorrow because I have to take care of stuff for accounting um, to send to my accountant who doesn't know what a JPEG is to open up a file. And I'm trying to manage my emotions with that. 
So I, I, I get triggered with a lot of stuff. Uh, trying to not, trying to regulate my emotions in that respect and just get the work done as I can because tax season is coming and uh, employees are relying on their forms to fill out and I have to do all the, that stuff even though the businesses are not mine or they're still mine but almost not mine. I'm almost completely disconnected from it. And uh, one thing at a time. So that's probably why this Supergirl just kind of brings everything up. It just brings up a lot of anger. Um, dealing with um, my relationship with people. And trying to deal with it. But dealing with myself and getting myself forward. Um, yeah, that's enough blabbing. So I will upload this. And just keep moving on. I, I put a pin on Pinterest, you know, trying to do more stuff from the phone, trying not to be perfect with certain things, you know. Just do stuff and make it move at the, at the speed I can because no one is helping me. I had a little bit of help for a little bit, but he bailed. He bailed because... Um, the relationship didn't work so it's like oh it was only based on the relationship even though he said it wasn't but I still using his Netflix so kinda of keeping it like that not touching that and just kinda of make things move myself when I what I can at the capacity I can I know I'm rambling but that being said I'm happy with the way I'm pushing my Instagram and now, after many years, seeing how I can kind of get people, drive people to my other YouTube channel, which is what I promote more, and to get views up from there. And bottom line with relationships is what I'm learning. This should be another video, but I put it in here too. Um, being that I have issues making relationships online as well as in person, um, and realizing that to build up uh, a channel, the slightest things, anything on social media, to build up, if I want stuff to be online, I have to treat everyone like relationships. You know, if I can't hack it online for my personal reasons, I can't hack it in person. I'm not talking about haters and stuff, I'm talking about genuine people and just kind of keep conversations going, try to nurture, relate. I don't know how to do that because I didn't learn how to do that when I was a kid. I learned um, isolation. So this is all new for me and now that it kind of clicked, uh, okay, build up just a few views coming from a few people who want to see what I'm doing and nurture that so it grows as opposed to thinking, oh, it's only gotten a few views I suck, this is shit, stop doing it. So I have to kind of think in the middle of that. That, okay, it's not as many views, but I'm building relationships and people like content I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing it. So it's going to be like a motivation and it's going to, maybe not snowball, but it's going to slowly progress in a positive direction. Um, I'm seeing that now for the first time because I mean it's been like 10 years I've been on YouTube stop and go stop and go stop and go and all has to do with relationships you know and not wanting to talk to people even online um, for fear so it does bring back to Supergirl because it all triggers everything in me so Talk to you next time.